Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you. Appreciate your support. And if you are just passing through, please like, subscribe and share. Um, today's video is about the clocks going back at the end of the month and whether or not you're going to be diddled out of that hour if you work during a night shift. A lot of people, they don't really think about it unless they're actually the people who are working. And then they might feel, oh my God, you know, I'm being done. I'm having to work an extra hour and I'm not getting paid for it. It really depends on what's in the contract. But anyway, um, anyone working for more than 24 hours or anyone is entitled to a break within 24 hours and if you're working eight hour shift you are entitled to a 20 minute break so what happens if you are working in a and e fireman ambulance you're working in a factory you're working in a bar or a club what happens when the clocks go back and you end up actually working an extra hour. Do you get paid for that extra hour? Is it construed as overtime, especially if you're salaried? Or does it just get usurped and you just feel hard done by? It really depends on what's in your contract. How is your contract worded, especially if you're new to a job? You need to be checking what your contract says. Now, if your contract says um, that you start, say, at 12 o'clock at night, at midnight, and you finish at 8 a.m. in the morning, then technically you have to do a nine-hour shift because that hour is factored into that time and it goes back. Now, some employers might say, okay, you know, you lose an hour here, you'll gain it when the clocks go forward. But if that's not the case, you need to know how the wording in your contract or the policy. Now, if your contract says, um, conversely, that um, you are operating on an eight hour shift, well, that will mean that you actually get to leave at 7 a.m. in the morning. And supposing if your contract says you're hourly paid, it means you actually get paid the extra hour. So it really depends on what your contract says. So you don't have to feel hard done by. Check your contract. Make sure that if you are working in a bar or in a nightclub, check to see the wording of the contract to see whether or not you're going to be penalised by the wording. Because if it does say that you have to work 12 midnight until 8, you're going to have to do it anyway and you actually lose that hour. You know, you might make it back, like I said, the following year if you're still working there. But if you're not, you lose an hour and an hour is an hour. Every mickle makes a muckle. Pennies make pounds. And an hour at night when you're tired, 60 minutes is a long time. So, yeah, so just check it out. And so you don't feel hard done by. I'm not quite sure whether you, even if you're not working, I'm not quite sure whether you put the clocks forward before you go to bed, back before you go to bed, or when you wake up in the morning. Most of us, we wake up in the morning, we completely forget about the clocks. We look at our watch and then we look at the wall, on the clock on the wall or on our cooker or on our microwave and we realise it's not in sync. And that's what prompts us to change it. Well, especially if we go on the PC and we realise because it's changed automatically, even in the car. But a lot of us, when we wake up, even though we remember the night before, we forget the following morning. So it's really about, you know, making sure that you're not hard done by, especially if you're out working and you're doing a night shift when the clocks go back. So I hope this is helpful. Bye bye.